Hey everyone, I hope you all are safe and doing good. So this video is for those students who missed the previous Amazon internship opportunities. Don't worry, you still have a chance to get internship at Amazon. Amazon is still hiring for system development engineer intern. Yes, you already tried for various locations. Don't worry, the link, job ID and everything you will get in the description box of this video. Go and check out. So I'll tell you, I'll tell you everything about this uh, internship, who are eligible and how basically you should prepare for this internship. Some smart tips to prepare for this internship. So it's for system development engineer role and there is no as such deadline for this internship. It's ongoing or it's on rolling basis, but apply as soon as possible. They can close the this application or this uh, role anytime. Okay, so first thing you need to do after watching this video is apply for this. Okay, now it's not uh, online, uh, it's not like remote, it's offline. Okay, so generally uh, 10 to 12 weeks, they haven't mentioned any, you know, that date or the time as well. But uh, on the mail, everything they'll tell you if you got selected and all. So once you apply, if your resume uh, gets selected, you will be given a test link, OA test or coding round test link, online assessment. And after that, there are few rounds, one, two rounds, and then they'll tell you your team, your stipend, and it's paid. So your stipend, timing, and everything they'll tell you. Don't worry. Right? Okay, so it's for system development engineer role. Now, basic qualifications, what are required is bachelor's or master's degree in computer science or computer engineering or related field at time of application. Bachelor's or master's, both undergraduate, postgraduate students are uh, eligible to apply for this. And you should have knowledge of programming languages or scripting languages, maybe uh, like uh, the programming languages are Java, C, C++, Python, etc. You should have knowledge of at least one, at least one, right? You should have knowledge of CS fundamentals as well, operating system, data structure, algorithm, uh, object-oriented design, and complexity analysis so it's specifically mentioned there complexity analysis right and you should have excellent problem solving skills means if you are really good in dsa uh, you are good to go but yes apart from dsa they focus on uh, especially in amazon leadership skills so you they also test your leadership skills in interview technical round in technical interview right but for problem solving skills, for the, these coding rounds, obviously you should have, you should be really good in DSA. Uh, at least now practice lead code, uh, medium to hard level questions. It's not very hard, but yeah, medium to hard level questions. Uh, now before uh, moving further, if you want to be good in DSA, if you want to prepare uh, DSA, then you can check out my course, DSA, Master DSA with Java. The thing is, here I'll be covering, I mean, I covered Java first and then DSA from basic to advanced concept, right? Or just query, lead code questions. Many lead code questions asked in previous, uh, these bank companies, Microsoft, Amazon, or these companies, top tech companies, many placement questions, quizzes, assignments, projects, many things you will get here. But the thing is, uh, we are officially going to close the enrollment for this course by the end of this month only. So I guess almost you have five to six days, right? And there's a coupon code GIFT15. You apply that and you'll get extra 15% discount. But those who are interested to go for only DSA part, some students say that, ma'am, we want only DSA, we want go for Java, we know Java. So for, for those students, you have a special coupon, DSA45. You apply that and you will get access to only DSA, not Java. But if you want both Java and DSA, you can apply the coupon GIFT15. You will get extra 15% discount. Right? For DSA part only, the code is DSA45. You will get extra like 45% discount. Right? <laughs> and uh, so whatever we are going to cover, you just go a link. I'll uh, put the link in the description box. You go and check out what we have covered, the course, the syllabus and everything. And one more important point is if you stuck somewhere, I conduct every week a live doubt resolution session. So you can join that session and you can ask a doubt. Plus, if you miss any session, live session, then uh, there is you will get access to a dedicated WhatsApp group as well. So on WhatsApp also, you can message me your question. There's a group you can 
you can interact with your peer and in group also you will ask you can ask your doubt right so it's like i'm just one message away from you in that case okay so if you are interested you go and check out the link you will get in the description box of this video check out this now okay this is the uh, basic qualification the minimum qualification required for this this is preferred qualification so basically the thing is your role would be uh, basically they are looking for those who can build innovative and mission critical software applications and tools so you will be getting various opportunities to working on real uh, like world live projects and under the guidance of amazon engineers those experts so it's not just a, you can say internship it's a really great opportunity for you to showcase in your resume right and uh, you will be responsible for delivery and support of large scale multi tiered distributed software applications so if you have any experience in this handling distributed systems or large scale applications you will be given higher preference see this is the preferred qualification so knowledge with the distributed system multi tiered system algorithms and relational database yeah if your resume has these kind of keywords so you will be given higher preference you can just read out this preferred qualification right and yeah this is offline i have told you so basically the basic qualification is now are or enrolled in or have completed a bachelor's degree within last 12 months so if you have already completed your bachelor degree in 2025 or maybe in 2024 i guess in 2024 also if you have completed you can apply for the centers or if you are still pursuing maybe in third year or final year or maybe in second year you have you are you can apply for this and they haven't specified any such thing even if you are in first year you can apply for this right so any ea students are eligible even pass outs are also eligible for this internship now the thing is see now how you should prepare for it so dsa is really important in that coding round you get dsa questions at least two questions there is a time limit so you have to solve those questions in within that time only right it's really important so whenever you practice one tip is whenever you practice on any platform on lead code or this kind of platform you have to set the timer and then try to uh, solve that question within that time only because generally in these kind of uh, coding rounds everywhere you will get time time bound deadline you have to solve within 60 minutes or 90 minutes it's like this so uh, time is really important the deadline is really important second first uh, second thing is your resume is really uh critical because at first when you fill the form okay i'll give you the link and here also you will get that apply link and you can apply fill the form and all there are many uh, information you will be uh, you have to submit there your educational background or many forms are there but it's not base uh, it's not that uh, high level it's basic but you have to submit your resume so based on resume obviously they will shortlist and you will get a oa link so if your resume is not good you will not get any uh, link for online assessment or that coding down so how you should prepare your resume first thing is it should be ats friendly right so always check score uh, of your resume ats score it should be more than 70 more than 80 right the more the ats score higher your chances you have and have to improve your ats score now read the job description now what is the description what they want right the knowledge of these languages preferred qualification is if you have these these tags if you have done something based on this so you can add these tags in your resume if you have these tags few of these tags in your resume then your ats score would be a uh, high so it's not that you just you just have one type of resume and it works for every uh, job for every internship for every uh, everything no you have to tailor you have to customize your resume for every job differently according to the job description so try to add the things which are which they want for this internship if you have then only in your resume be honest don't just add irrelevant things relevant things only add okay some good projects if you have especially in this field if you have used any this languages this language if you are good in dsa suppose you have solved this much lead code question or you have this much rating on this platform 
highlight that skill it will show that your problem solving skills are good and that's exactly they want you have the star coder on this platform okay so highlight those skills so you have to customize your resume according to this according to this uh, uh, description right and third thing is apart from this they specially focus on your leadership skills okay sometimes in you get clear this oa round or technical round in technical round maybe they ask uh, some questions based on behavioral questions or that show your leadership skills some uh, scenario based or situational based questions right so we'll be given a situation this this and how you behave in that and something like this so they want that you have that leadership principle leadership skills so amazon focus on this also other apart from the coding skills and technical skills it's really important for you right now um, and core cs fundamentals as well maybe in oa in that first round only you will get some mc mcq question it happens mcq questions based on um, cs fundamentals dbms oas and these subjects computer networks it may be possible i'm not sure but maybe coding question will be definitely there dsa question two questions but other than that mcq question may be there so you have to um, um focus on uh, cs subjects also fundamental subjects right just simply maybe you can search important topics from the perspective of amazon uh, for this role on google for this subject the top 50 questions or top 100 questions like this and you can just read out those interview questions all right so if you are specially if you are applying for this search on internet specially amazon interview questions and solve the, try to solve those questions which type of questions amazon ask in their interview so same kind of questions you will get every company is having their own um, specific uh, you can say those um, favorite topics of dsa and favorite uh, questions so practice those previous questions like you have to practice here arrays it's not that only trees and graphs trees graphs are important arrays strings are also important for this right dp problems maybe so there are five six favorite questions okay um geeks for geeks is also a good website you can go there and you can check out the previous interview experiences previous questions for specifically amazon you can solve those questions so you have a uh, you can say that um, idea which kind of question they ask it will help you right so uh, that's it about this uh, internship and it's paid i have already told you it's paid internship but they'll tell you once you get selected they'll mail you everything your team your timing your stipend and all everything right now that's it about this if you have any other question you can just let me know in comment section and uh, i'll try to answer those questions and if you have any specific demand for such kind of videos you can just that also let me know in comment section so that's it for this video now i'll see you in the next video till then bye bye take care